So what was the worst job of Tudor times? Wiping Henry VIII's bottom at least got you to the top of the tree. Woe dying stank, but you were a pioneer of modern chemistry. And even the gory life of the executioner had a weird kind of celebrity. No, for me, the very worst job was being a wife. Not just any sort of wife, a fishwife. Thanks, Joe. In many ways, a fishwife was the most liberated woman of her era because while her husband was away, she had a job of sorts. Fish! Anyone want a nice piece of fish? Being a fishwife was one of the only jobs specifically for women and it had a terrible catch-22 about it. To make a living selling fish, you had to be mouthy, make a noise, get noticed. And women doing that were going to get themselves into trouble in Tudor times. Because this was an age of religious clampdown. Men made sure women knew their place by writing job specs for housewives. This is the ideal Tudor woman. When thou art up and ready, then first sweep the house. Milk Dress up thy dish, feed thy calves, strain up thy milk, take up thy children, and provide for thy husband's breakfast, dinner, to bake and brew with all when need is. Duck some geese to lay and to gather up their eggs, and when they wax broody, to settle them there as no beasts, swine or other... So fishwives were on a loser. They had to be loud to do their job, but the Tudors reacted violently to loud women. They punished them as scolds. So I'm going to put myself through those punishments in honour of all the working women who flouted those conventions. The kind of thing a fishwife was likely to be accused of was slandering her neighbours by calling them things like cut purse, cousiner, copper-faced whoremonger, <laughs> what else, um, <laughs> boys out of a pantomime, and then they get really arsy with me and cut me off. But the reality was far from pantomime. Breaking the social order was a criminal offence and was met with extreme cruelty even by the standards of the time. People desperately wanted stability. Scolds and fishwives paid the price. Put me down, lads. Thank you, boys of the chorus. What exactly would I have been charged with? Well, you're a scold. and that a scold? Me yeah, that means more than just being an annoying, disruptive person. You're somebody who has lowered the reputation of your neighbours, a chiding, brawling person who's actually made them look worse by the things that you've said to them um, in front of their neighbours and in the eyes of the law. So what's the punishment? Well, the punishment is this. This is a scold's bridle. It looks a bit like a chastity belt, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a kind of a, an iron cage which was used in Tudor times, particularly in northern towns and western towns. And this fits over your head like this. And this bit goes on top of your tongue. Uh, yeah. So when that, that goes uh, on your tongue uh, and you're paraded round in front uh, of your neighbours, oh yeah, what a high food, not yeah. only can you actually physically not speak, well, but it's a sign to everybody ooh, else yeah. that you and others like you are to keep ooh, your tongue still <laughs> in the future. Yeah. Oh, what? Well, this hook goes through here yeah. and... And then we're done. What? So how do you feel now? Well, I'm Yeah, well, that's the general idea, I think. So now, with this rope through there, quite literally leads you by the nose. Yeah, yeah it's supposed to happen. Your rope. Come on. What makes it so horrible is that it was the whole community, neighbours you'd have to live with afterwards, who took the punishment into their own hands and let you know what they thought of you. Oh, oh, God, I say you're pouring with dribble. How do you feel about scolding now? Oh, God, I tell you, it just makes you so irritable. Yeah. These guys are dragging you along, and this thing's jerking on you all the time. They were shoving me all the time. I just wanted to deck them. But this thing here, 
sorry, it's fairly disgusting now. It's sort of pressing down on your tongue and, and, and jamming in. And it d depends really on how taut this rope is as to how much pain you're in, actually. Oh, I've just dropped this thing. You can you know, get rid of that for a start. It's so irritating. I can't but this is you. what got you into trouble in the first place, this attitude. Oh, <laughs> it doubles it. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't stop it, mate. I want to fight anybody. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> Horrible. Ah! We don't know how many fishwives were punished. Records only name offenders as wives, the property of men. But we do know that while Elizabeth I was on the throne, these punishments were stepped up in number and severity. For me, the worst was yet to come. We now come to what's got to be the worst part of the worst job in the Tudor period. If the Skull's Bridle hadn't worked and I was as disruptive as ever, then there was another punishment that they could use, which seems to me to be infinitely worse. We've got half a dozen fierce-looking blokes here and this long metal pole and this pivot in the middle. It's a ducking stool. Was this an old form of punishment? Yeah, the ducking stool dates back to Norman times and you'd have had one of these in most communities. And the idea was that uh, all sorts of antisocial men and women uh, would be ducked. But by Tudor times, it's a punishment specifically for a scolding woman like yourself. Well, surely there weren't more stroppy women in the Tudor period than any other period. Well, there's definitely a sense that oh, people thanks. are more obsessed with order by the Tudor period. Yeah. And that often in communities, women were particularly the focus of that. Why this particular punishment? Well, the idea is that you'd be ducked in the water and this will cool your hot tongue yeah. and uh, tame your unruly ways and that the whole village will turn out to watch this happening to you. So there really would have been this many people here? Oh yeah, you well. wouldn't have missed this for the world in Tudor times. This was a big day out for everybody. I'd miss it for the world when I hit that tree. Oh. How are you feeling now? Silly question. Ever the scold? Well, I've got nothing to lose now, have I? How do you feel now? Oh, freezing! Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh, it's so cold! Oh. Oh. That's the coldest I've ever been. I surrender. You feel corrected? Yeah, I'm absolutely corrected. Oh, can you get this belt off me? Oh. Oh. I'll be demure. I'm quiet and well behaved forever from now on. Right, we'll hold you to that. <clears throat> Actually, I probably won't. Women sometimes died under this mob justice. Even in these controlled conditions, I was powerless under the momentum. And for those few seconds, experience the fear a Tudor woman must have felt. That was deeply unpleasant, but there's plenty more to come. Next time I'll be trawling round the lower reaches of the job market.